Hello friends, once again welcome to BISPtrainings.com My name is Amit and today I am going to show you how to build uh, OBI RPD Keeping Role Playing Dimension So it's a part of our OBI Dimension Building classes and we have been continuing using our HR model So we are building our HR model in four step Step number one We will build RPD repository which is called Cementry Data Model then we prepare reports and dashboard and then we allow my user to create self-service report enable business user create self-service report and at final step we'll do the predictive analytics the four step activity this is our HR model we have been working since beginning and if you look at this we have been working on the fact called employee expense fact and there are a couple of dimension this model talk about employee direct and indirect expenses so today we are focusing on Role playing dimension. Before we see how to build a role playing dimension, the need of role playing dimension in HR model, let's see what is role playing dimension. So as you look at over here uh, in this example, the role playing dimension, as per definition, role playing dimension refers to the dimension that play multiple roles, different roles, depending on the context. This is a nice and simple example. I have a fact table called sales fact and time dimension. Sales fact and time demand join using three keys using order key, order placed, ship key, and close key. So, if you look at some majors like quantity, the quantity ordered, quantity ship, and close key. So, when you do a BI reporting on top of this model, it doesn't work appropriately. So from a user point of view, this dimension has to split into three phases, three roles I need to play, make a uh, three roles for my time dimension one would be order key ship date Order date ship date and close date the dimension remains same, but we got three alias of it from a user point of view It make it easy whenever I like to find out the information pertaining to order I would refer this information pertaining to ship and information pertaining to closing I would refer, refer three different dimension according to the query. I need to bring Let's see how to implement the same into our HR model in our HR model, we have got employee expense fact table and I have got employee dimension. If you see my employee key, employee key is joining with three dimension. I mean dimension three keys. Employee key is joining with my employee dimension using employee key, manager key, and one over manager. Right? The same fact table joins with my same dimension using three different key. Employee manager and one ma one over manager so if i look at my employee expenses i would like to see the same employee expenses in the context of individual employee employee manager and one over manager so in order to find the solution let's build a whole model step by step first i'm going to bring the metadata into my rpd i'll connect to my data source and bring the metadata so import metadata my source is an oracle therefore i use oci connection my source name uh, the username HR model and the password I'm going to bring dimension keys and foreign keys and therefore I use over here um, My HR model this is my HR model. I need a fact table called Employee expense fact in addition to this I need a dimension called employee dimension and I need keys from employee account finance uh, time dimension and organization dim time and organization dim I'll bring the metadata define a model username and password okay it takes few more minutes or seconds to bring this metadata because system is reading all the dimension keys join constraint therefore it takes some time it is done so our physical model is ready let's see how it look like you right click and visualize this physical model so let's look at the physical view of it right click look at the physical diagram I could see my dimension called employee expenses and employee <coughs> I know it is small enough to view so let's focus on employee expense and employee now look at this employee dimension carefully there are three joints 
the employee key the employee key joins with employee key it joins with employee key it joins with manager key and it joins with one over manager so same employee dimension join with manager employee and one over manager right so i'm going to create three alias before we solve this problem let's uh, see what is the default view for this data model this is the default view of this data model let me create a presentation and business model mapping layer simply by drag and drop and we visualize this model i like to see employee expenses pertaining to individual employee manager and one over manager so i go to my analysis because i modify my model i'm going to save it refresh it uh refresh your model right your model is ready so uh one more thing because you have a facts therefore it is good to aggregate your majors employee expenses i'm going to aggregate this you can right click go properties and aggregate this and then i'm going to apply first test employee expenses so i simple bring employee name employee first name employee name and expenses employee expense fact look at the result i found the output let's look at the query so right now my query is fairly simple um it is going to be employee it is bringing your expenses with respect to employee and joining criteria is employee key let's copy and keep this query ready we are going to compare so i copy this query in my notepad so this is context 1 i can define context 1 employee expenses now i have to find out manager expenses and one over manager so i'll do it manager expenses in the same fashion we can do for one over manager so i like to say manager expenses okay so how do you do this in obi we can solve this problem by creating alias right click the dimension which is causing multiple roles and create alias create alias alias is nothing in just an alternate name i'm going to name it as manager dim right and define the new key to this so manager dim key is a manager name manager key so when i drag and drop the system should be able to figure out on what column is supposed to join manager key and the column i map to manager key in a similar fashion you can create one more alias for employee called one over manager right click create new alias call one over manager and create a key of it so i call one over manager key and define the column one over manager seems to be absolutely bottom so it's a one over manager key right i got two alias okay manager one over manager i right click and define join go to physical model i got manager and one over manager so i join with my fact table because i already have a key over there i just have to drag and or define join so i define manager employee employee manager and one over manager uh let's create a new join simple drag and drop and remember the joining criteria is a manager key join with employee key manager key of manager dimension join with employee key of my fact table right you can take a snapshot of this and keep it here so when we query this we can compare similarly i do for one over manager i simple define join and my joining criteria is one over the manager key equals to 
employee key right take a snapshot of this as well so when I render the query I could compare with a snapshot done now my physical model is ready I'm going to create one more HR model this I call a single instance I rename this and call single instance and I create multiple instance or multiple with alias single instance and I drag it up once again and name it as with alias Right, so I got two instances of employee. One is manager, another one is one over manager. Look at the presentation view of it. It is consistent. Look at the presentation view. So I got employee, manager, and one over manager. Right, now let's do the final test. I go to my answer request and render the query once again. So I should refresh it first. Refresh your model view and metadata both. And uh, now go to your new, and you see single instance and multiple instance with alias. I use with alias. So I use employee manager name, manager name. Here I could see manager name. Right? Its employee is basically context change, therefore it's a manager name. And employee expense, total expense. Total expense is not aggregated, so I simple aggregate it. Right click and apply aggregation. Go to properties and aggregate this. And drag and drop employee expenses. Look at the result. I could see the output. I'm more concerned about the query. So right now the join would have taken place based on manager key. Right, this is my query. Now I can compare. This is based on employee and this is based on manager key, right? You can also copy paste this query and put it beside your data model. Isn't it? So you could see over here the join is based on manager key. It is pretty small. So we're not able to see the whole window, but I could see employee join with manager key. This is our joining criteria, right? So you can highlight this to make it even more easy to understand. This is joining criteria employee with manager key and accordingly the query rendered. The same thing you can do with one over manager. So I'm going to run it once again in the third context called one over manager. So I write a new query, uh, HR model with analysis. I use one over manager name, one over manager name, and expenses. Uh, employee expense, right? This is one over manager expense result. I got the output, look at the query. So, this is my query and the moral of the story now it is joining on one over manager key. This is the third context. Right? So look at these three contexts carefully. This is how we can implement role based dimension one over manager expenses. When I join with manager expenses joining character is employee key both the side otherwise employee key and manager key the joining writer become uh, employee and manager key and here joining criteria become employee key and one over manager key so this is how you can implement role based dimension so thanks for watching today's video should you have any training and consulting requirement please feel free to visit to our site it is bisptrainings.com or bispsolutions.com thank you and have a great day ahead